needed to help keep our rivers clean. To tell us how you can lend a hand, it is my pleasure to have Elon Lipschitz from Little Forks Conservancy and Lily Kelsey in AmeriCorps. Remember, thank you both for being here. How are you? We're doing great. Yeah, good. Good. I'm so Thanks excited. Thanks for having us. Of course. I'm so delighted you're here. So tell us, first of all, it's an important mission. What is the mission of Little Forks Conservancy? Little Forks Conservancy, we're a nonprofit conservation group working in Midland County yeah. and the Titabwasi River watershed to help improve those local lands and rivers that we care so much about. Yeah. We've been around, we've been doing this for a little over 25 years. Oh, wow. We own nature preserves that are open to the public, but one of the other parts is we really focus on our local rivers and yes. streams and that's really kind of what we were found about. Yeah, and that's what you're doing this weekend. So you're really in need of a lot of volunteers to stream sample. It's called stream sampling along the Cedar River. So what does that mean first of all and what will volunteers do? Yeah, so stream sampling is a program we do with MyCore. Okay. Um, and we sample um, six sites along the Cedar River, which is really important. It's a cold water um, stream and river, uh, really important in our watershed. Um, but we sample for macroinvertebrates. Um, so we're actually collecting um, little nymph or larval insects, yeah. or sometimes snails and crayfish um, from the river because they can tell us um, the water quality oh. um, based on their sensitivity. So some can deal with really polluted water and right. some can't. So um, based on what you find, it can kind of give you a picture of um, the water quality there. Oh, that's awesome. So mm -hmm. we need to know that for the future for now as well mm -hmm. as our future. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Okay, so tell me, do your volunteers need experience? None at all. So, okay. Yeah, you you can join. Um, kids eight and older are oh, also great. encouraged to come as well. Um, you do have to be trained to be a leader and collector, but yeah. we also hold trainings for that. But to help us pick and go through macroinvertebrates, you don't need to be trained at all. I love it. So why would you say this is so important for people to really get involved in and to help keep our rivers clean? Volunteer and do this. Yeah. Um, for one, it just shows you what the water quality is yeah. like. So it's a really good indicator from year to year um, what the water's looking like. And okay can help us pinpoint pollution in areas but also I think it's just a really great opportunity it's free um, and it gets people um, involved in the environmental movement which I think is really important and helps us become um, stewards to nature and helps us grow that connection is this, is this what some of the volunteers will be doing yeah here? so okay. you're, you're gonna be using tweezers and spoons to try to find these little tiny macro invertebrates sometimes big too um, okay. wow. in, in the water yeah that's, I mean, a hands-on lesson right there. Mm -hmm. The kids would love to do yeah. that, you know, and mm -hmm. learn about our rivers in the meantime. So how can our friends sign up and where should they meet on Saturday? Yeah, so you can visit our website, littleforks.org. We have all of our information um, about stream sampling there and our programs, um, but you can also call our office or email us too, and we're happy to get you signed up. Good, okay, so tell us where it is this Oh yeah, weekend. Gladwin City Park. <laughs> That's important. Yeah, so yeah. important. The, yeah, Saturday, September 16th yeah. at 10 a.m. Okay, and we will have a link to the Little mm -hmm. Forks Conservancy in all our hot link section at WNEM.com. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for we having appreciate us. You. you are welcome. We, Keep, you're keeping our rivers clean. We need definitely. you. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. We look forward to seeing people out on the streams. Yeah. Okay, so get over to our website and get the information. It's this Saturday. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thanks. You're welcome. If you have any ideas, friends, or what you would like to see in our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PM News at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.